Hi Libra, welcome to your annual forecast and I'm sorry for the delay. Since the month is almost over, so I just decided to start in the month of February, okay? Let's take a look. It's actually flipped out. Let's take a look. This actually flipped out, okay, while I was trying to shuffle the cards. So, you know, Libra, somebody from the past will be coming back into your life and you will be giving this person another chance. You've tried to walk away or you've tried to move on from this person. However, oh, and here, this is actually right at the bottom. Um, it seems like somebody is going to try and mangle your defense and someone who used to be your weakness and it's a fire sign. Hmm. All right, let's shuffle the cards. Seems like the cards have an extra special message for you. Okay. As much as you want to escape and hmm, run away or move on from someone, looks like there is some sort of an unfinished business that you have to finish up with. But it's a fire sign person. And I also feel like there's an earth sign person also that's going to be coming back into your life. Hmm. It surely is your love life right now. It's very active. And I feel like this fire sign will be seducing you and you're going to be giving in. Hmm. Good for singles, bad for those who's already taken or committed. Alright. Okay. This month of February looks like you're about to go for a big change. First two weeks of this month, you're going to be getting your wish. And it seems like there is like a good financial news that's going to be coming your way. Especially for those who's trying to get a job, you know. Definitely you'll be signing a new job offer this middle of the month. And it seems like you're about to start a new chapter or a new stage of your life however um there you know in all of our first beginnings in, in all of our brand new starts there will always be some hurdles and difficulties you just need to be a little bit more patient okay and if you ever you you're already experiencing this right after three days okay of um initiating or starting this new position or this new chapter of yours in terms of your job or work try to be a little bit more patient and stick around okay for a little while instead of just giving up and saying that this is not really my forte or this is not really my field 
I don't like doing this and yada yada yada. So, you know, this is all the very good break that's being given to you. And I feel like you are going to try and escape or run away or travel by the end of this month. So. Let's pull out clarifications on that. Uh, hmm. I feel like first five days of your um, of your reporting, or first five days of you reporting for this work of yours, you're gonna be bullied. That's why you're, you know. I feel like that's why you're gonna be quitting. Anyway, this is a general reading, okay? So it doesn't really apply to all Libras out there. So just try and check your moon rising. Anyway, when it comes to your work life, for those who's already employed or already um, trying to pursue in their careers, you will try and uh, look into the mirror of yours and reflect into the, um, like, you know, um, how far you've gone from where you have started in the past and it seems like you've been working and working and working you've been praying for things to progress develop and for you to upgrade in your current position but it seems like your boss or the management keeps on giving the break or the opportunities that you really want to grab to someone else so this is just giving you a lot more um you know ordeals and uh, problems but eventually somebody will be giving you a break and this is someone who is a water sign person whether it's a man or a woman and the position that you've been aiming and dreaming for you will be given enough time to prove yourself okay so just try and do your best now when it comes to your personal life or to your romantic life you're trying to be strong, especially for those who's been supporting their kids alone or trying to fight for a, a child support. Um, your finances will be average or stable, but I don't see any, you know, struggles or whatsoever. You'll still be able to pay off your bills updated and, you know, um, send off your kids to school and uh, pay off your mortgages. So don't worry about it. But I don't see further much for now this month. Okay, and there's also somebody from the past that you have already turned your back on, that you've already left behind, and that you've already tried to move on. But this person, actually p two persons, okay, fire and earth, that they're going to try and catch up with you. And they're going to try and, you know, dip into your life again. Now, there are actually two scenarios that I can see here. For those Libras who's already with an Earth sign, there will be a confrontation or there will be some sort of, um, uh, like a jealousy or bickering and bantering that's going to be happening in your domestic life. Okay, because the other person will be getting a little bit insulted and jealous, of course. Although they're not going to be admitting it to you that they are, you know, feeling jealous at this point. But then. If you're already married or if you're already with someone who's a fire sign, expect that there will be more drama and somebody will be walking away out of your house. So there will be some changes into your home environment. Plus, there will be some drinking issues. Okay. Now, when it comes to your sex life, somebody will definitely be seducing you. Okay. I hope that you're not going to get involved into any other affair or you're not going to get tempted into getting involved with someone else outside of your relationship or marriage or, you know, commitment. Um, I feel like you still have strong feelings with either of this fire or earth. All right. Plus, there is someone new that's going to be coming into your life, which is a water sign. And you will also be very attracted to this person since that this is also a very good option for those Libras who's been having some problems with their sex life with um with their spouses right now okay so you're gonna have a very active sex life plus sexual libido as well mm. wow anyway when it comes to your health it seems like you're gonna be doing well except that there will be some unusual acne or facial allergies okay i feel like it's because of the air and uh or weather and um you will have 
some it's like you will feel that there's something swollen on your side okay and uh, you need to balance your diet stop smoking if you're smoking right now because you will have actually you'll have an infectious thyroid problems or um, what do you call this like um, throat problems sore throat and um, I don't see any problem when it comes to your intestinal part. It's just that mm, it's gonna be from your mm, from your throat, nasal, gums, and breath. All right. Plus, be careful in eating uh, raw seafood because you might um, you might incur um, parasites. All right. Although it's gonna take a few months before it will get detected or before it will just you know spruce up but just be very careful about it because if ever that you're going to be detected for a or you're going to be diagnosed for a, any para parasitical infection it is because of eating seafood raw food or unhygienic um fish or seafood okay especially if you like um, exotic food mm. all right singles let's take a look this month of february for you You know, be very careful with the younger air sign. It's going to try and set you up. And I feel like you're, you know, I feel like you've been with this person or you've known this person for four years. This is not a relationship or, you know, or something like that. But this is more likely somebody that either you're living with or somebody that you're sharing your space with. And this is a younger air sign because I feel like this person is up to something that you're not gonna like okay and this person is also very mischievous so be very careful i also feel like you need to secure your stuff if you're sharing your space your house your room with somebody and um you're gonna be feeling a little bit emotionally down or depressed this month but you'll be able to pull yourself up because someone will be cheering you up somebody from the past which is a fire sign and older than you now there will be more um, connections communications and you'll be very happy by the end of the month because you will get reunited with somebody that you've been longing to hear and uh, see for the last for the past few years and it seems like this is the start of a brand new beginning for both of you and you will also be traveling um you will also be traveling around the month or sorry around uh, the end of the month along with this person because you're gonna try and run away from a um, from a situation or from a worry that's been like you know like a trying to embed in your mind so let's take a look at your month of March
Okay, now this month of March for you. Huh. It seems like you're going to be feeling a little bit depressed and uh, melancholic. And you want to run away from everyone. You're feeling a little bit depressed still and emotional over some personal situations or personal problems. But then by the third week of this month, someone will be lifting you up. Now, some Libras will be having some... Um, like a, like an emotional moment. Not ready to fall in love. That's a different story. But it's um, it's like this water sign will be acting like your mentor or your best friend or something like that. And this person will be giving you a very sound advice. And this is what you exactly really need. Okay, for you to go through this difficult situation and decision that you have to make. Now, when it comes to your workplace or when it comes to your career, it seems like if ever that you've been having some problems or if, you, if you've been having some, you know, some difficulties completing a task or submitting, you know, your, um, submitting your stuff to the deadline and uh, I feel like you've been a little bit distracted lately, the middle of the month you'll be able to submit everything or you'll be able to meet their expectations and you'll be earning praise from your boss or from the management however even though you're aiming up high and you're targeting something that you feel like it's a little bit impossible for now but you know someday you can and you will you are slowly having some insecurities or dismay okay into how your life is pivoting right now and you're gonna you're gonna you're, you will try to stay strong and you're gonna you know like um try to hold on to your faith longer and stronger until that you will figure out your way out of the situation or how to improve more of your performance how to improve the impression of the management and how to impress your boss you know so you're not going to give up. There are only times that you're going to be feeling a little bit depressed and down because nothing works your way. But, you know, this is only the this is only the uh, the third week of the the month. Sorry, the third the third month of the year. All right? Now, when it comes to your love life, you're still trying to fight off, you know, for those who's already married or already in a committed relationship, you are trying to fight off the temptation, you know? And I feel like you're trying to move away from this person from the past who's been taunting you and stalking you. And your relationship is already turning a little bit haywire. And then this person, you know, doesn't really care whether your relationship is about to crumble down or they're starting to mess around with your life. And, you know, you're already in a happy or contented state. And um, now you're feeling a little bit confused if you still have feelings for this person or maybe it's just you know the thing that really happened in the past of what might have been so what could have been but you know what if this person keeps on pursuing you despite the fact that you're already you know that you're already stable you're already settled and you're already married or committed then you have to think long and hard about it because it means that this person doesn't have any respect to you and to your life okay whether they're single or available or they still have feelings for you you know that's already beside the fact and that's already a different story but you're already married you're already in a committed relationship and this person just left you without even saying anything without you know no valid reason at all in the past and now this person would just suddenly reemerge, and they if they want to have you back they want to have you back regardless of whoever that's going to be um you know that's going to get hurt in this process so even if you have feelings for this person i feel like it's just what might have been and what could have been so you need to balance okay you need to weigh the pros and cons otherwise you will just keep on starting something that is not even worth it for the entire year okay especially if this is the fire sign that's been trying to dip back into your life you need to think long and hard about whether this person deserves that space in your heart or not all right if this is the earth sign then i feel like it is worth giving it a second chance i'm not being biased 
but it seems like although this person lives in a different place or lives far from you so it's going to be a long distance relationship even if you will give this person another try but i feel like it's going to be like uh you know you just need to make a decision there will be some agreements or discussions or a setup you know that the two of you have to make but aside from that you know it's up to you if you can make it through because this person is not going to move to wherever you are you are the one who's going to move to wherever they are now sex life you are going to be feeling a little bit into some sort of a hidden adventure <sighs> some libras will be you know, giving in to the temptation and I feel like you're going to be giving in to this person who's going to be seducing you. Whether you're a man or a woman, somebody will definitely be seducing you and you're going to be enjoying, a f you know, it's going to be a mixed feeling. Guilt and pleasure, you know, both. You know, it's, you know, th th I mean, the sex and the, um, the feeling will be mixed of... Um, it's going to be a mixed pleasure. I can't say it's going to be like, uh, you know, very dangerous or something like that. Or I, I can't say it's going to be like very ecstatic or, um, you know, with a lot of fireworks. But then it's going to be a mixed kind of feeling. So, and you know, if that if this is what's going to happen, if you're going to let yourself give in to the temptation, then you know what's going to happen and what will be the end of it or the bottom line of it. And, um, you know, for some of you, Who's going to get a little bit upset? Why is it it's all about affair? What is it all about having, you know, uh, being with someone even though you're already with somebody or there's too much affairs, too much, you know, temptation, stuff like that. This year is all about that. Okay, it's part of the, uh, the new year of the pig. Okay. And uh, you will also, for those... If you would say that you're not a cheater, and for those who hasn't really cheated in their entire life, there will come a time that, you know, the temptation will definitely come and bite you, and, you know, you're only human, you have your own weaknesses, and it's all with your free will. But what I'm trying to say is that this year, these are all possible. So you, you need to be more stronger, okay? Instead of being skeptical and saying that, no, I'm not a cheater, I will never cheat in my entire life, yada, yada, yada. We are only humans. And we have our own boundaries, weaknesses, and we have our own limits. Especially in terms of loving someone or in the matters of the heart. Okay? Be a little bit more open-minded. And you will definitely overcome all of your obstacles. And you will avoid any bad karma in the future. Now, when it comes to your health, you'll be feeling a little bit lethargic and wants to sleep all day because it's because of your depression. Also, you need to have more supplements to your bones and you will also have some swollen feet or ankle. Okay. Um, nasal problems like your, your nose will always be clogged. Hair loss. And it seems like your nails will also be brittle. Some Libras will also find out that they are pregnant during this month. And that you need to have more... You need to have more rest. Okay? You need to have more healthy food. Not food binging. But you need to have more healthy, balanced diet in, in order for you to um, have a healthy pregnancy. And some of you need to stop smoking. Because you are definitely going to be... Uh, developing some illnesses or problems and th that is related to your lungs, uh, liver, um, and intestines. I also feel like this is more of um, it's a more of a genetic problem, health problem. Okay. Okay, let's take a look at your singles forecast for this month of March.
All right. Now, okay. First week of this month, there will be some good news that's going to be coming your way when it comes to your family. And when it comes to your friends' connections or to your workplace, it seems like you still have to deal with some bitter people around you and bullying, okay? And uh, you will start thinking of moving into a new job, new field, or new company. And there will be two offers that's going to be coming your way, which will be very good. And by the end of the month, you will be dating or you'll be seeing somebody from the past, which is a water sign who used to care a lot for you and who used to help you with a lot of your ordeals. And this person will play a very significant role or part in your life until the end of the year. You also care for this person, so... Why not give it tr why not give it a try since the two of you are actually you know you've been very good friends for a long period of time and you both of you are just hiding your feelings for each other and this person do have a lot of feelings for you as well but the, you know they this person just want to keep it as friends as usual okay because they want to value the friendship more than losing you as a lover okay so let's take a look at your month of april It seems like this month of hmm, April for you, you're going to be reconnecting with this earth sign. But instead of having a successful new beginnings or successful connection, eh, it's, it's going to end right before it starts. I feel like both of you will be defensive, paranoid. Both of you have big trust issues. And both of you will keep on bringing up the past. And um, I feel like you will keep on labeling or branding this person. Which is... That's what this earth sign will try to refuse or refrain from being called at. Now, Libra, this month of April, an, an Earth sign from the past will be uh, connecting with you or reconnecting with you. And there will be some successful communications to think that 
you know, this person will somehow appear that they've already changed and even the way they approach you, the way they talk, they would sound very matured and, uh, you know, that or you will be under the impression that they are no longer bitter. However, in the middle of the month, there will be a lot more issues that's going to be coming out. And you thought that this is actually a very good idea to, re to get reconnected with this person again. But somehow, both of you will be bringing up the past and both of you will still be bitter about the past. And, you know, like whatever happened in your relationship and where you left off that instead of building a new life or building a new connection it seems like there will be a lot more issues that will be dumped in your face and this is something that you don't really need during this time because you're also preparing for something big when it comes to your profession or when it comes to your career and you will find out that this person will be lying or um they're not going to tell you about their family that they have left behind and the truth why they really come to you now when it comes to your workplace it seems like things will suddenly you know like turn into something positive that people will will start becoming more friendly or supportive and that they're also going to try and uh you know team up with you and they're also going to be you know like asking you for your ideas inputs inputs contributions and you will also be presenting your ideas to the uh, either to the board or to your colleagues okay in a meeting now this is the start of a new let's say new progress for your for your career and uh, whatever that you have worked hard for in the past few months and few a few a few weeks not really a few years um, whatever that you have contributed and if you try to stay and be patient with this job, it will definitely be paying off, especially this month. And I feel like you will be, um, you know, you will start to enjoy this position or this company by the end of the month because you'll feel like finally I belong here. Now, when it comes to your, um, when it comes to your uh, romantic life. You are going to be going through a series of transformation or transition. And for those Librans who's uh, pregnant, you know, again, during this time, some of you will be having a very complicated pregnancy and some of you will be having twins as well. Now, for those who are who's trying to reconnect with an earth sign, um, I feel like it's much better for you to... You know, to stay away from this earth sign since that both of you have a lot of baggages from each other. Both of you have a lot of feelings and, um, you know, the love is still there and the care. But I feel like there are too many issues, too many anguishes, agony and pain that both of you are not yet healed from the past. So once the two of you try to reconnect and start talking again, it's kind of inevitable for the two of you to bring up whatever really happened because both of you bottle up your feelings and you did not really talk about your differences and problems in the past that right now when the two of you will try to become friends or reconnect again that is where everything will just come out of nowhere okay and it's going to be very difficult for you to to handle all of this dramas that's been happening and going on in your life and not to mention that you will also be um, dealing with some mother issues or some family issues during this time or during this month and I also feel like if last month you were so sexually active this and then this month you're gonna be feeling a little bit not in the mood even though some people or there is you know there's someone around you who will try to seduce you and uh, will try to put you in the mood but you feel like there are a lot of things that's already in your mind to the extent that you know for the sake of doing it and uh, making someone else's happy so you'll just be faking your orgasm now when it comes to your health again you will be start noticing some red bumps and itchiness that will be forming in your skin especially around your face and neck and be very careful in getting sickness from another person or be in contact with someone is someone who's already sick and you will also be reflecting into your own well, into your own, uh, what do you call this, uh, reflection or um, 
uh, it's your own beauty and you're gonna start questioning like where did your old self go okay because it's sometimes you can't really um recognize yourself anymore in the mirror and i feel like you will start using some more supplements or vitamins and it's much better for you to go and check out with your doctor if you don't want to have any allergies for this or it is much better for you to get some prescribed supplements or medicines okay instead of uh, taking something over the counter and uh, a little bit of a vacation near the water will be helping you to ease down your mind and to relax a little bit let's take a look singles what's going to be coming your way this month of april You know, for those who's actually in the field of media, creative media, designing, broadcasting, writing, journalism, or something like that, you're going to be feeling a little bit unhappy and discontented with how your life is going. And you feel like being restrained or feeling a little bit stagnant with your job and you're starting to think of becoming more independent or publishing your own because you want to free up your mind and you want to you know it's like you want to express more of your creativity and your ideas whereas in your job or field right now you can't really do the things that you know that will make you happy aside from that some of you will also be reconsidering a, a career in the field of air industry and you will be talking to two people okay that you feel like can help you with your ambitions or with your uh, career change it's going to be one who's an older water sign and an older fire sign which is a woman and uh, i feel like at this point you are starting to look into increasing your salary or increasing your money but at this point if you're not going to cut off your drinking partying and going out with your friends then of course nothing is really going to happen into your life even if no matter you know no no matter how much you try to save because if you'll be using your money this way then i feel like you need to think long and hard about that aside from that you will be dating or seeing someone younger than you someone who is around early 30s or late 20s and um this person is very ambitious but very dedicated and uh will really pursue you which is of course that is the one that you're gonna like but you know that something is wrong or that something's a little bit off about this person but you have a very generous heart so you're gonna be giving this person a ticket okay to get into your life for a little while now let's take a look at your month of may like this month of may is not going to be very favorable for you libra there are actually two things financial change and emotional change or status change
You will try and disconnect yourself from the world during this month. And I feel like you're gonna be taking some time off. Now already? Well, for those who's uh, trying to start their brand new career, or trying to have a brand new beginning and trying to impress the management, it's not really a good idea. But you're feeling a little bit burned out. Well, let's take a look. Well, some viewers are actually feeling a little bit burned out and uh, not to their work, but more about their personal stuff. That's why I've been, advi I've been advising you right from the very beginning of this reading that you need to focus on your career and your finances instead of codepending on relationships. Hmm. Wow, despite of all the problems and despite of all the issues that's going to be coming your way, it seems like you're going to be enjoying your... Well, this is more going to be of a relief for you, you know, having a very good sex during this month. And uh, someone will be trying to exert more effort in pleasing you. So you're going to be Pillar Princess during this month. Changes are going to be occurring in your life this month of May, and um, it seems like it's not going to be a personal disappointment. It's going to be more of a um, disappointment when it comes to your family, plus you're f going to be feeling a little bit not in the mood or burned out, and you'll be calling for an emergency leave. Now, as I've said, that you will also be dealing with some family dramas and issues this year, but this month is going to be the start of it. So, there will be some financial demands or there will be some financial difficulties that you have to help out a family member or your family at this point. And um, it seems like there are some things that you need to balance, okay? For those who's already married or already have their own life, you need to balance your own domestic stuff versus the, f the needs of your family. And I feel like you're going to be feeling stuck with this whole thing. Okay? And I feel like there will be some financial changes. It's not going to be a struggle, but it's more of you need to live this month on a budget. And when it comes to your marriage or commitment or relationship, somebody will be changing in your relationship or there will be some changes in your relationship that you, you don't really want to see, feel, experience, and take place. Okay? And this is what's going to be breaking your heart and you're going to be all over the place this month. Now when it comes to your workplace... You've been trying to aim for something really high and you've been driving yourself too hard or you're being difficult to yourself because you really want to aim this and sorry, you, you really want to aim for this and you really want to reach the top and prove yourself. Okay, not just um, not just to your management or to your co-workers, but also to your family. But then there are a lot of things that's going to be stumbling upon your your path and you or you know there will be a lot of obstacles that you have to um get over with 
uh, you're going to be getting it over. But I feel like this month, instead of focusing much on your career and focusing on your, um, you know, deliveries, you're going to be calling for an emergency um, leave and you just want to stay away and disconnect from the world again. Okay, You just want to spend more time alone because of all the things that's been going on and happening. Now, when it comes to your romantic life, again, this fire sign from the past, which is going to be, which is still going to try and pursue you. And you've been trying of more ways on how to cut off this person because you don't want to lose whatever you already have right now. And you're going to do your best to, you know, to be a little bit more stronger and resist the temptation or the presence of this one. But... <laughs> I feel like you're going to be doing a lot of thinking and balancing and you'll also be sticking to the logic of the situation that you're the one who's going to be walking away from this person by the end of the month. And your sex life, as I've said, that even though despite of all, despite of all the things that's been going on, you will have a very um, high sex drive as well. And... Uh, while you're doing it with someone, you're going to start thinking about somebody who's, uh, who can give you more satisfaction. And, you know, that's actually, that is all of the cheating, okay? Even though it's mental or even though it's just uh, an imagination. But that's really wrong. And um, I feel like you're not really going to let other people know about the secret of yours. But... For someone who really knows you like your partner, they know that you're thinking about someone while you're doing it with them. And when it comes to your health, well, your body will get even more strengthened if you will just stick around with um, uh, high in fiber and low in calorie and sugar mm, diet this month. I also feel like swimming or being near the water will be helping you to ease down your worries, your anxiety, and your de and then your depression. Plus, um, you need to stay away from those people who's already sick. Otherwise, somebody will be passing on their, their bacteria or viruses to you. And be very careful about your, um, your gallbladder and then your kidney. Well, avoid incurring some stones into it. Okay, let's take a look. Singles. Well, it's going to be coming your way. Alright, singles. Hmm. You will be moving into a new location or new company, and I feel like this brand new beginning is something that you really want and need. I feel like you're going to be moving into a new office more of, because there will be some changes and you'll be feeling a little bit more at ease and relaxed, and you're, you're going to be feeling like you really belong there. Now, you will also love the changes that, you, that you've that you been making into your life. And finally, you know, the path that you've been thinking and dreaming about, it is now slowly taking place. It's just that financially, you know, it's very normal and usual for those who's just starting. But you will get over this and you will soon, you know, reap the, um, the rewards of your um, hard labor or 
of all of your efforts in the past. And I feel like you will get rewarded by the end of the month because there is an unexpected money that's going to be coming your way. Although, avoid and be careful with a younger air sign who's going to, who's going to try and put you or bring you more trouble. This person is a liar and I feel like this is not a friend that you could consider. Okay, so... You know, for you to cut off the nuisances, if you can just move into a new place or a new house, new room, or just kick out this person out of your life, it is much better, okay? Because I don't feel like you really need this person. This person is the one who's been sticking around with you, and yet they're being a little bit ungrateful, okay? So, let's take a look at your month of June. Wow, it seems like there will be some forgiveness that's going to be happening between you and this earth sign by the middle of the month. So... Hmm. Well, it is much better for the two of you to just, you know, remain calm and uh, forget about the past. But... If you are actually already in a relationship, and even though your relationship is not really working the way how you really wanted it to be, I feel like it is much better for you to finish up whatever that's no longer working for you instead of moving or jumping into another relationship right before ending the one that's already at present. Be careful in asthma and be careful in swimming during this month because there is a possibility of getting a, um, what do you call this, like a sprain or, well, there's also a possibility of drowning and um, I forgot the term. It's like you're, when you get your veins stiffened and, and uh, you can't really move your leg. I forgot what's the term for that. Anyway, just be careful uh, around near the water or while you're swimming, okay?
Now, this month of June, there will be some conflicts or altercations with a fire sign woman that's going to be involved in your workplace. And there will be some issues um, at the HR, so I feel like you will just decide to travel within the second week of this month. Um, I feel like it will also be a little bit hot-tempered during this month, so try to avoid any conflicts or any arguments with your co-workers that, you know, that might just um, apply some bad reputation to you. And, it, you know, if you're also in a probationary period, then this is not really a very good idea for you to get involved with. Plus, um, I feel like during this time, you're also going to be running for a promotion or you're going to be one of the candidates for a uh, for an open position or higher position that you along with it with along with two other candidates will also be um you know will also try to compete and run for so try not to have any bad reputation all right and um this month as well right in the middle of the month you will be moving away from somebody or you are going to be um taking a vacation or holiday away from you know away from someone who's been trying to manipulate you who's been trying to mess around with your head and with your heart and um I feel like you just need to have a little breather and have some space so that you can make a decision about this earth sign who's been trying to, you know, to pursue you. Ah, seems like you're going to be hot in the market. And for those who's already in a relationship or already married, if you're actually married with, a f with an earth sign during this month, um, having some space or having... Um, some distance away from each other will help you resolve your issues and your conflicts and whatever it is that's been pertaining in your relationship during this month because if you will just try and stay and keep on bickering and bantering back and forth then nothing will ever be resolved except that you will just grow more um upset and uh you will be ha hating each other more if you're not going to move away from each other so take a few steps back that's more of a healthy um, solution for now and everything else will change right by the end of the month now when it comes to your workplace it seems like your career is already in the right track however because of the things that's been going on in your personal life you will be a little bit irritated hot tempered and um, cannot really tolerate those people who's very lazy and uh, you know with the lack of common sense as well and um, there is somebody who will be giving you an advice or your boss will be giving you an advice to take a few days off and uh, try to sort out your, um, you know, your emotional drama or, you know, whatever issues that you've been having domestically. And I feel like for those, you know, whether you're already married or single, this is the time that you will also get... Um, get closer to your boss so be very careful about that not to get involved in any gossip your boss doesn't have any other intention but to you know to be your uh, or to be a good mentor and to be a good advisor to you but some other people will put some malice into that closeness so that will also add up more issues you know that you will be dealing with by the end of the month you just need to be a little bit more stronger and don't pay attention to those unnecessary things and just keep on focusing on your goals. Meanwhile, try to secure all of your stuff and all of your documents because somebody will be and well, will be prowling right behind you or is will going to try and rummage through your files or through your personal stuff or through your background. You know, something that they can use against you and I feel like this is also one of the two more people that's also trying to go for the promotion okay now when it comes to your personal life or romantic life you just need to be a little bit more stronger to end something if this is really what you really need or i but i feel like you will try to result into another solution okay you're gonna try and think of more solution and not really give up on a current situation and that is if well, that is if both of you will be willing. Um, well, there will be some significant changes that's going to be coming your way to both of your lives. So I feel like this is not really the right time for you to give up. 
All right. Now, so it means that there's still hope. Now, when it comes to your sex life, you are going to be having a longer period than the usual. And I feel like even though, you know, your the red flag is up, you're still going to be... Hmm. Oh, it's it's like your blood is going to be a little bit hot during this month, but you know it's like uh, you also need to improve some of your um, well, the, your styles of affection and being intimate with each other because um, since that the two of you are having some problems and having some issues in your relationship, and then this will also be affecting both of your moods, okay, to deliver each other. I mean, to deliver to. You know, to have some fireworks while you're doing it. And I also feel like you hated it. But the two of you are just doing it for the sake of, uh, you know, habit. And no longer for love or affection. Now, when it comes to your health, try to take a look at your... Because you will just start to notice something about your feet. Especially that your nails are getting dark. Well, it's not because that they are, you know, not really clean, but the, but it's actually the nails, okay, that's slowly dying and slowly getting brittle. So you also need to um, do some research or um, you need to consult the doctor about what's really going on with you. But I feel like there's some sort of vitamins that you're uh, lacking of. And uh, you also need to stay focused. And um, if you've been having, it's like, for example, you're, th you're, it's like you're thinking of something, and then all of a sudden, so something will be coming in into your mind, and then you're gonna get a little bit distracted because you cannot really focus it while you are talking to somebody. Then something else will get into your mind, and you're you cannot really concentrate in two things both at the same time. So you just need to whisk off the other. You know, the other things that you're kind of thinking about and just set it aside for a little while until you're already done with whatever that's already right in front of you. And you also need to be careful with your... There will be some some skin blisters or some mouth blisters, um, nasal problems, nasal polyps, uh, thyroid problems, breathing problems, and chest pain. Plus, you also need to detoxify. And for those who's actually smoking, you need to be careful. And you need to go and check out with your doctor about your lungs. Plus, some skin irritations and allergies still. Okay, let's take a look, singles, what's going to be coming your way. Alright, okay. Single Libras, if you've been having some vices or dependencies during this month or for the past six months, it's time for you to curb it down because it's already been consuming your your life and your energy, especially if you've been smoking too much, or drinking too much, or food binging. Alright, and I hope it's not any other dependencies, of course, especially when it comes to substance. Now, there it's actually older fire sign and older air sign that you've been working with that you're going to be dating both at the same time. And I also feel like by the end of the month, you will be moving into a new place, new house or a new residence or a new residence or a new 
office or new department. But in overall, you're going to be very happy with how things are going to go. Also, there's an unexpected money that's going to be coming your way and you'll be very happy because you're, you're really going to be needing this figure, you know. For those of you who's trying to be independent and to start your own business, this unexpected money will definitely be more of a blessing to you because you need some more help or some more aid. And with this, you will finally be able to finance or to buy some of the things that you really need in order for you to sustain it with your new beginning or with your opening. Okay, and you're going to be very happy with how things are going to go. So, and with this... Hmm. You know, with this um, air sign, well, older, older air sign and older fire sign, as I've said, some of you will be very close to your bosses. Um, try to avoid some office affairs. It's not really healthy. And I also feel like these two are already married. All right, so let's take a look at your month of July. Okay, now we're on to the uh, month of July. Let's take a look. Oops. Okay, that flipped out. Ooh. Someone's going to be betraying you. Oops. Okay. Now let's shuffle again. Someone will be betraying you, which is someone younger than you. And for those who's all, who already have a son or a younger child, please um, keep an eye on your child, okay? Someone cannot be really happy with um, how things are going in your life right now. So keep an eye on this bitter person who wants to ruin your life or who wants to ruin your happiness, okay?
All right. Now... Well, this is going to be a melodramatic month for you for the month of July. And, um... Well, you're going to be moving or you're going to be, um... Moving to a new house, new place. Or you're going to be moving into a new city. However... While well, everything is starting to, you know, to be good around you, especially around y your career, somebody will try to deter your focus or somebody will try to ruin, you know, whatever that you've been starting right now in your life. So be very careful about that. Also, keep an eye on a fire sign woman that is just around your age. And I feel like this person is... Uh gonna be very bitter all right um, because it looks like someone is trying to plot a uh, not really a revenge but more of uh, to set you up to have a bad reputation so and you will discover who this person is so I feel like this is the reason why this person will try to get back at you because for some reason they're going to be losing their job or they're going to be losing their position and they're not really going to like it. So I feel like just try to watch your back, you know, um, just in case that this person would uh, shut back at you. Uh -huh. This month will be a very um, chaotic and... Uh, you you just need to gather more strength to deal with all of this. All right. Um, I don't feel like it's uh, something that is on a high alert because this person is still manageable. I don't feel like it's also a psychotic person. Although, you know, there is a possibility that she could get obsessed with you. But aside from that, you just need to be a little bit more stronger, smarter, and. Uh, be very careful with the people that you trust or be very careful with the people who's uh, surrounding you especially if they try and pretend that they are your friends okay now meanwhile when it comes to your workplace uh, I feel like things are starting to shape up and uh, you'll be working a lot of longer hours during this month and it's because that there are a lot of things that you need to hand over and finish three major projects that you need to work on and that you need to deliver in uh, three consecutive weeks okay so you really need to put your best effort because your promotion will be at stake or a new position already awaits you plus the uh, the impression of the management and you will try to do your best so this is the start that you're you know that you're trying to i mean the all of your hard works and hard efforts in the past it will finally be coming to fruition starting this month but you're starting to feel a little bit insecure and uh, overwhelmed and starting to feel a little bit uh, threatened if you can really fulfill all of your duties and obligations. You know, you just need to learn how to trust yourself and you just need to believe in yourself that yes, you can do it and yes, you can finish it all up, okay? Now, love life. You know, there's somebody who's a fire sign around you that you're that you really really love, okay, and that you really have a lot of feelings for, which is I feel like this is your partner right now or your spouse. Plus, you're also torn between another person, but you will be realizing this month that you have already gone through a lot of things in the past for you to let go of this foundation. But before you make a decision or before you make your final say, I feel like you will be traveling right in the middle of the month and um, for you to have more space and for you to think about, you know, well, the steps that you need to take or that you, ne you need to, you know, the decisions that you have to make as well and what will be the consequences of that. 
which is around the last week of this month. Despite of you being so busy, you will still be carrying your work with you. And this is the reason why the management will be a little bit flexible, you know, with you because they know how hard working you are and how much time you've been trying to dedicate into this project or job. Okay? And by the end of the month, there will be a brand new beginning or there will be a... Uh, like a new foundation because if you've been going through a lot of turmoils in your marriage or in your relationship for the past few weeks or few months then this will be marking for a new beginning and for a brand new chapter of your life and you will also try to prove to yourself that how strong your foundation is and how strong your love for each other now if there is somebody else who's been trying to harpoon you or trying to snatch you away from your marriage you are the only one who can fight for this or you are the only one who can um who can say to yourself if this is really worth giving up your marriage or worth giving up your relationship all right the key is actually with you so you're the only one who can turn things around and turn your life around Plus, I'm pretty sure that you already know what will be the repercussions of your decision if ever that you're going to be giving up on this, you know, relationship. Now, when it comes to your sex life, uh, you know, satisfaction is not the only thing that's important in sex. Okay, it is also making somebody feel, and uh, you know, like somebody, you know, for them to really experience each and every inch of that pleasure. Okay, it's not just about the fireworks. It's not just about, you know, the delivery and then finishing off and then that's it. The two of you needs to learn how to be more affectionate and how to apply more burning passion into your intimacy. And this is what you're going to be researching and doing and will also try to relearn by the end of the month. Okay? Your sex life will be more than just a sex life. Okay, it will be just more than sex. It will be more than just an intimacy. That there will be more love that you're going to be feeling right by the end of this month. Okay, and I also feel like you're going to you're going to try and um uh study more positions or, you know, you know to add up a little bit more excitement and uh, to use some add-ons, of course. Now, as for your health, You need to be very careful, especially if you're, you know, if your hands are wet or if there are some other exposed electricity because there is a possibility of you getting electrocuted over something. But it's not going to be that dangerous. It's, you know, but be very careful, okay? And um, be careful in getting burned or getting hurt by any metal or any knife or sharp thing the first two weeks of this month because I feel like you're going to be a little bit clumsy plus you're going to be tripping off a lot of times so there will be a lot of times that you're going to be hurting yourself hurting your knees or you're going to be breaking you know like a part of your body so be very careful always watch what you're doing okay and uh, you will also have some fever cough and flu by the third week being too sensitive to high places and uh, be very careful with some airborne allergies or diseases okay and uh, i feel for those who already have an asthma so be very careful about that and uh aside from that i feel like you will try to uh find some cure to a uh well it's more a passed on disease from your family that you've already inherited from the side of your mother and you've been having these allergies for, you know, since you were a child. And you will try to look or consult some more remedies for that. Okay, it's more of an allergy. That it always happens during a particular season. And this is what's going to be happening to you this month. Okay. So, 
you might as well just go to a you know to a specialist that deals with some genetic diseases so that they can nail down what you know what's the cure and what is the root cause of it all right so let's take a look at your singles forecast Okay, my card actually flipped. Changes for single as uh, for sorry for single uh, Libras. Knight of Cups, a water sign, and an earth sign around your workplace will try to get close to you. And a friendship that will be formed with this older earth sign. Changes are also coming your way, and it seems like you will finally be telling yourself that you're already over and done with with somebody from the past that you're still hanging on until now <coughs> or until this uh, this month of july but the good news here is somebody who's an air sign younger than you will also try to get close to you and will also try to you know to ask you out so you know um, I feel like if you're already ready, which is I feel like emotionally you you need to free yourself up, you know, from somebody from the past. I feel like it's time for you to go out and see other people and explore. Now, somebody who's an older Earth sign will also, you know, start getting close to you and a friendship, okay, and a very special bonding will be formed between you and this person. Th these are both around your work. Now you also need to stop your dependencies or your, uh, you know, um, especially for those Libras who's been drinking too much for the past few months. It seems like you need to start waking up and, uh, you know, take care of your health. Otherwise, by the end of the year, you will be regretting all of this um, because your health will be um, not going to be in a very good shape. Okay. Now... A transitional phase that you will be going through and you will start becoming even more happier, radiant. People will also try to cheer you up, you know, just because that they know that you've been going through something. Especially for those Libras who will be going through losses during this month, okay? And you will also be traveling by the end of the month, alright? So, changes are coming. I feel like finances, you will also start getting more stable and especially your mental state or your, you know, your maturity, whatever it is that you really want to do in your life because some Libras will try to have a lot of things in mind and they're going to have a hard time fulfilling all of that. It's like they don't know how to draw the plan or... Uh, they don't actually know how to implement it but then this month this is where you're going to be narrowing what really makes you okay let's take a look at your august forecast
well, it seems like the last week of August will be much more favorable for you. Um, uh, there are still somebody from the past who's going to be coming back into your life for the first two weeks of this month. But I feel like you are ready to put an end to this. We'll be checking out more later on, right after doing all the spreads. All right. Now you will be traveling within the second week of this month. And while you're away, there are somebody who will try to communicate with you, which is for you. You already know the answer to this and you already know what to do with this person who's been trying to get a hold of you despite of your, you know, of your um blocking and uh, refusing, uh, you know, with the connection. Of this person is still trying to get into your life but then you know what to do and then uh, you will be cutting off this person and be honest with your feelings and with your decision which is the latter won't actually you know accept no for an answer or you're they're not going to be accepting your you know your explanation and they're not even going to believe you so you will somehow feel like okay fine you know if you don't want to believe me but this is really my decision and I feel like it's not really going to work out for both of us because I'm already happy and I'm already, you know, consented with how my life is going. And yes, I was lost before and I've been into a lot of confusion. But then that also made me realize a lot of things, you know, to be happy and contented and stay here because we have a stronger foundation than what we had in the past. So even though this person is not going to be accepting your you know your decision and your explanations and despite of you know the long talks and everything else right after that it's time for you to cut it off and uh you know even if they will still try and persist and you know uh try to stop you in your way if you really don't want to then this person cannot really do anything about it they're not going to harm you so don't worry about it now the last two weeks of the month which is i feel like this is gonna be even more better something that you've been waiting for you know for those libros who's been trying to apply for a, a housing loan or for a car loan or something like that you will get approved for the last 
two weeks, third week or last week of this month. And there will be an extra money or extra incentive or bonus that you're going to be receiving, which is you'll be very happy with it. And aside from that, you will be putting this earth sign to where they should be standing and placing. All right. Now, when it comes to your workplace, it seems like... Uh, Oh, actually more about your finances you'll be very happy because you'll be able to spend more time with your family and treating them out plus getting approved for the house that you will try to get okay now when it comes to your workplace you will be mingling with your co-workers and there will be some gathering or event or party that you will be attending but somehow you're feeling a little bit insecure and not really sure about yourself Okay, or you're going to be feeling a little bit nervous because you'll be giving a speech during this month in front of a lot of people and the management will be observing you or even your bosses and I feel like uh, at the end of the event you're going to be very proud of yourself or your bosses will be very proud of you because um, it's going to be mission accomplished. And I also feel like there will be an announcement that you've been waiting for as well that will be done. And you will be very surprised. Now when it comes to your love life, as I've said that the key is actually with you on how to resolve the situation. That even though you've already forgiven this person, it seems like you're going to be closing the doors. Okay? Permanently. And you're now ready to stay and uh, work on your foundation and leave all this leave this person behind that even though it you know it it's um it's like the two of you lack chemistry and yes this person is very responsible and have given you a lot of uh, stuff and things in the past but then you feel like it's never gonna work out between the two of you because both of you are very strong-headed and strong-willed and stubborn while the other person that you're already with at present is you know more open-minded and more ready to understand whatever ordeals that you're going through and you have that freedom to spend some time alone when you really needed it to and this is going to be you know the best decision that you're going to be making because you are not going to be letting yourself be taken away by any other temptation just because that you're feeling weak and vulnerable that some others will be trying to you know, um, take advantage of you. All right. Now, when it comes to your sex life, uh, it seems like there will be a f different sort of spice and adventure that's going to be coming your way. Well, when it comes to your sex life, as well and uh, I feel like you will try to read more manuals on how to do things and your partner will really like it uh, to the extent that you will act like lovers or you know th to the extent that you will act like you're having something else and you're gonna be enjoying it okay this is the sort of your renewing your bonds and renewing your your connection and your chemistry and you will somehow act like new honeymooners okay now, when it comes to your health, you need to check out your eye, your you know your vision or your eyesight or your the grade of your of your reading glasses or your contacts because it seems like you're gonna have some problems with your eyes during the first two weeks of this month. I also feel like you need to detoxify that if you need to, you know, go out for for a quick break or just to have a little breather. Just go in the stay near the water it will help you to get detoxified emotionally and mentally and uh, don't self-medicate if there is already something that's been like uh, bothering you you will be feeling a little bit in pain and uh, something on your right side will be feeling a little bit swollen during this month and uh, uh, there will also be a very slight infection from your uh, well, from the f nails or fingers in both of your feet, okay? Aside from that, you're going to be feeling a little bit elated or overwhelmed. But then, you know, your health will be 
a little bit much better during this month. I feel like you just need to be a little bit more careful in going into higher places because you're going to be a little bit oversensitive. Okay? Especially to strong winds. Let's take a look, singles. What's going to be coming your way? Before we proceed to your month of September, so let's take a look, singles. It seems like some single Libras will be going through a major transformation or transition, which is it's going to be a, a positive transition. Some of you will be traveling over the water or will be traveling across or going on a cruise. And some of you will be going on a very short trip or a sponsored trip. Aside from that, you will... Um, th there will be a reason for you to celebrate about a very good news that's going to be coming your way. And I also feel like some single Libras will be opening up a salon or will be opening up a uh, service-related business. Okay? Now, your destiny is about to unfold right before you. So you just need to brace yourself for more changes. Um, it's not going to be an upheaval, but it's more of a positive uh, shake-up. Okay, and you'll be in for a lot of surprises this month. You just need to be, you know, um, grateful whether it's a small or big surprise. Um, changes will continuously come your way, but I feel like you will also be supported and aided by this older air sign, okay, that you'll be seeing and that you'll be dating with by the end of this month. Yep, and you'll be more financially stable during this month. Because I feel like this is the right moment that you have been waiting for. And you've been preparing for this whole thing for how many months already. And finally, it's already here. Okay, let's take a look at your month of September.
right now this month of september it seems like it is also a better month for you financially more good news that's going to be coming your way and more communications now for those who's actually trying to sort out their marriage or their relationship there will be more effort and more surprises from your spouse or from your partner and it seems like you will also try to better yourself or you will also try to you know to uh, change some of your patterns and bad behaviors in a relationship so this is going to be a very good month for growth and uh, reconnection rebuilding your your foundation and i feel like you're uh, you're already on the right track finances it seems like there will be an unexpected financial windfall that's going to be coming your way plus there is also an inheritance that you will also be receiving now well there's still a part of you that's going to be thinking about this you know this earth sign that's been like um, still trying to get a hold of you but then you know it's like once you've already made your decision and once you're already done done with everything that's needed to be done in order for you to make a decision you there's no turning back and you know that person is already a part of your memories and nothing more and nothing less last week of the month you will be very surprised with the uh, good news that's going to be coming your way when it comes to your work as well and you will be very happy okay to announce it to a few people but then I expect that there will be some people who's not going to be very happy with the, your achievements or with your success and this is already a given fact already now as i've said that when it comes to your workplace or when it comes to your work and finances this month it seems like everything will be shaping up and everything will be you know will happen in your way plus you will be reaping the um, you know the the fruits of your labor i feel like you will also be enjoying a lot of your let's say increment or increase okay you're gonna be very happy about that plus getting the promotion that you've been working so hard okay but then again be very careful because someone is also trying to set you up for a trap or to set you up for a uh, problem or uh, you know to lose your position but don't worry because you're you will be guided and protected okay it's just that i feel like there will be a friendship that you will be losing in the process when you discover who this person is and um, you will get even more closer to some of your colleagues and to some of your bosses and you'll feel flattered because you'll be included in some high executive uh, meetings okay but always wear your heart on your sleeve and keep your feet on the ground despite of the success that you will be achieving during this month now When it comes to your love life, things will start becoming even more sweeter, more effort for both of you, the, the rebuilding of your foundation, even though you have gone through a lot of catastrophe for the past few months and, you know, the, the connection with this earth sign, for you it's already done done, you know, even if you've had a lot of feelings before, but then this person is just way too manipulative and way too dominant um it you know when you were still with this person it's like they even want to put a mirror in your you know when you breathe or uh, with everything you, that you do and uh, you can't barely move okay and they're even trying to uh, overshadow you so you should feel lucky okay that you're already far from this person some libras will also find out that they are pregnant or that they will be pregnant by the end of this month september now sex life as i've said that you will try and dig up more positions and you know it's like you will try to create more um flares or creative flares or creative flavors in your relationship or in your sex life 
and I feel like you're gonna be doing it a lot more times than how you usually did it in the past and it, you know you're just trying to catch up with your lost time and I feel like this is also the first time that you will be enjoying each other's company right after a long period of silence and um, distance and coldness okay so you don't really have to hold back anymore and I feel like you're gonna be very happy okay and uh, feeling young and fresh like um you know like a blooming flower in the morning so and people will also start noticing that you've been blooming and that you're you know you're feeling a little bit fresh or you're looking fresh now when it comes to your health you're starting to get better but then you know don't try to keep on experimenting on some medicines that are not yet tested or um, are not yet prescribed by your doctor okay now you need to eat on time otherwise you're gonna be feeling a little bit more pain and um, in your stomach and uh, you will somehow feel like you're always hungry but then you're not okay I feel like it's much better for you to go and check out with the doctor about your ulcer and again about your eyesight okay it's much better for you to go and check out with your doctor as well feeling a little bit more sensitive during high places and you'll be feeling a little bit nauseous well, it could be, and there's uh, a possibility because the, you might be pregnant during this month already. And um, the frequent fever and flu, and coughing and sneezing, and be very careful in getting um, you know, a disease or illness from somebody who's already infected. So better wash your hands and always um, you know, disinfect. And you need to learn how to balance your diet and how to balance your lifestyle. Plus, you'll be very conscious of your face or your skin during this month. And you'd like to protect your, your skin from any other allergy. Let's take a look, singles. What's going to be coming your way this month of September? Okay, you still haven't found whatever it is that you're looking for in love or, you know, with the people that you'll be dating during this month. Uh, still caught up in the past and still thinking about this person again. But you just need to free yourself up. If there is already an opportunity or somebody that's been offering their love and admiration or, you know, devotion to you. Now, you'll be thinking a lot more about work, money, starting your own business, or getting your business running, up and running, okay? You'll be thinking a lot, sorry, you'll be thinking about a lot more strategies and ideas and plans on how to get things moving and going and progressing, all right? And I feel like you need to divide your time or you need to balance your life, okay? Versus your personal lifestyle, your business, or your work, both at the same time. And you will have a lot of sleepless nights as well because you'll be overworking yourself and you'll be driving yourself too hard, which will be resulting in a very good um, harvest by the end of this month. And even though there are some people or there will be some delays or th some people that will be causing your delays, you will be able to successfully overcome it. And you just need to, you know, to fight off some of the urges of um, shopping, mm, you know, f for any other costs. 
I just feel like you need to conserve your budget for a little bit because even if you'll be having a raise or even if you'll be having a very good uh, salary during this month, it's still, you know, it's still a must for you to conserve your budget a little bit. And finally, we'll... We're already in the month of October for you. Let's take a look. Still looking good. It seems like the only bad month for you this year is going to be around July. And a few months for the first quarter of the year as well. You know, when it comes to your sex life, if you're going to try and do it while you're cooking, just make sure that you're going to be very mindful of the fire, okay? I mean, with the, uh, you know, the things that you're going to be cooking. You know, it seems like this earth sign is still going to try and persist and pursue you, despite of you, you know, avoiding the communications and blocking and everything else. And this person is still going to be showing some extra effort. But despite of that, you will just say that you're already happy with your, you know, with your current life right now. And all they needed to do right now is just to respect your decision. Now... By the end of the month, I feel like both of your foundations or both of your, you and your spouse, okay? Both of you will become even more stronger and will be working side by side to rebuild your lives again, especially if you already have some children. Plus, there is a possibility of uh, renewing your vows by the end of this month. Now... Now, when it comes to your work life or when it comes to your career, it seems like your boss will be rewarding you a little bit of a um, week of 
pampering yourself or taking a break. Which is, I feel like you're really going to be enjoying it and you really needed this break. Right after working so hard and uh, by the time that you get back from your, you know, from your vacation or by the time that you will be reporting in the second week of this month, you will be coming up with new ideas and with new creative you know, projects that you have in mind and definitely the budget will get approved. So I feel like it's time for you to prepare for some more, um, some more preparations. Okay, and some more, um, it's like uh, you need to prepare for, um, you know, more hard works and more busier traveling days. Because I feel like by the uh, third or fourth week of this month, you will be traveling into th three different cities altogether. Okay just to visit some branches or just to visit some projects or you know just to make sure that things are really working out the way it's uh, you know it's planned and right after that you're gonna be enjoying much of your month and uh, reporting for your job as well and I feel like you will also be a little bit more I feel like you're gonna be a little bit more you know thankful that you have stayed in this job and finally it is paying off right now now when it comes to your love life okay um you're feeling a little bit tired um <laughs> well you've been having a lot of sex for the past few weeks and uh, you know for the past few months so it's just normal for you to feel worn out and you just need to take a break from it and um there will be some disappointments, okay, that uh, that's going to be coming your way uh, this month, especially for those Libras who's going to be celebrating their anniversaries around the month of October. There will be some stuff that will be coming your way or there, you know, your celebration will get a little bit delayed. So don't go, then, sorry, don't get pissed off at that. And um, you just need to learn how to balance and accept that there are some things that's already out of your control. But in overall, if you like, you will be celebrating your um, your happiness in your life together in an odd way. But, you know, in a positive way as well. Now, when it comes to your sex life, it's like you are going to be breaking the normal rules and you're going to be a little bit more explorative or... Um, you're going to be exploring more options and more, you know, more stuff that you will be enjoying. Well, especially those add-ons that you're going to be doing and that you're going to be catching on, you know. I feel like your sex life will become even more spicier and more active. That despite of you being so tired from work, you will have that extra energy, you know, on the side to do this. Now, when it comes to your health, you will be enjoying much of your break near the water or in, you know, like um, through swimming as well. And again, you know, cold, colds, flu, fever, sneezing, coughing. This is going to be around the second week of this month. And yeah, you also need to eat more vegetables okay and uh i feel like you need to distress a little bit even though you know you're you've been overly stressed at work but you're not yet feeling burned out which is a good thing and uh, don't stay too late at night or don't be careful in driving at night okay you'll be a little bit accident prone during this month so be very careful let's take a look singles what's going to be coming your way this month of october
Okay, it seems like you're gonna have some conflict with a water sign during this month, but then everything will get sorted out by the second week. So you don't really have to worry too much about it. But I feel like this person will be drawing some dramas around your workplace. Or um, I feel like this is um, or around your family or the, like a relative. So I feel like if this person will try to draw some troubles or will try to create some dramas in your life during this month, just try to ignore it and don't get involved with it. Okay. And um, I feel like you will get you will have more attention and more help from this earth sign person you know that will be um you know don't take the um, the friendship the other way around or don't think that there's that this person has a different agenda towards you because I feel like you will be misinterpreting their you know their their gesture towards you because they only want to be your mentor and they only want you to and they only want you to you know give you some advice or to guide you all right so don't think that they are just flirting at you or they're trying to use you for something because it's not all right otherwise You will be ruining that friendship that they are offering to you. And aside from that, um, mm, as much as you want to buy a few things that you really want to have during this month, it seems like just try to save that money, okay, for some rainy days. Because um, even though you will have, you will be pocketing some extra money during this month. Uh, you still need to be a little bit more conservative and, uh, you know, um, conserve your budget for a little while, at least until December. All right. Now, I feel like in terms of dating or seeing somebody else, I feel like you'll be hanging around more with your friends and you are going to stop seeing some people for a little while because you're already tired of meeting the wrong ones and then putting your hopes up but nothing else happens i also feel like you will be babysitting somebody who's more of a relative or connected to you or to a family member by the middle of the month okay so let's take a look at your month of november
right? Well, a few blockages and delays that will be happening in coming your way this month of November for the only for the first week. But during the second week that you will be traveling, you'll be very happy and you will also be well compensated. Plus, some Libras will also be a little bit sensitive with their pregnancy or you're not yet aware that you're already pregnant, but then you will be discovering it during this month. Now, third week of this month, you will be... It's like you're going to be very busy and you will be, like, uh, not really available you know, domestically, and uh, I feel like this will also be sparking some slight, you know, arguments and confrontations again, but you're going to make, you're, you're going to be making it up with your partner or with your spouse by the end of this month, and there is also a celebration or like a fair that you're going to be attending, and, uh, you know, you'll be spending your weekends with your family. Now, when it comes to your workplace, you are starting to formulate a lot of you know strategies and uh, marketing as well on how to deliver this project and i feel like you will also be having a lot of meetings with some key people that's why you will be working late you know this month is going to be very busy for you so you need to talk to your spouse or to your partner that it's going to be a very busy month and that they need to be a little bit more understanding and open-minded that even though you know, even though you will be working with your team, uh, there will be a lot of more things and a lot more obligations that you need to fulfill. And uh, most of the works uh, will be done by you. Okay. And be very careful in losing a very confidential information. Now, when it comes to your love life, it seems like you will be receiving an extra money or an unexpected money from a you know from an unknown resource and um uh, there you know some libras will also find a like a like an amount or figure for the first week of this month and um i feel like you'll be giving it to charity so good for you wow now middle of the month you will be it's like the effort will be coming from your side or from your end to woo your partner or to give them a gift or to find them a gift or to be a little bit more generous because by the end of the month you will be planning for a trip along with your children if you have one now when it comes to your sex life things will become a little bit more brutal and it seems like your fetish will be growing a little bit more wild okay but then by the end of this month things will slow you know will slow down a bit and uh, you will start to wake up and go back to how you used to be. All right. So it's like the spice and the, the adventure and the excitement and thrill will be over by the end of this month. Now, when it comes to your health, you will be feeling a little bit nauseous, arthritis, rheumatism, and uh, okay, frequent cramps. Okay that you will be experiencing i also need i also feel like you need to meditate and balance your moods and balance your your health and then your weight feeling a little bit overwhelmed stressed out and feeling some chest pain okay and uh you need to take some more supplements and vitamins especially vitamins uh, c d and e okay but it's much better for you to go out and check out with your doctor Let's take a look, singles, what's going to be coming your way.
some single Libras will be um, winning something in a rifle draw or like an unexpected resource and you'll be very happy some of you will also be moving into a new place or a new department or a new environment and uh, th this is the start of your financial stability so if you want to you know to shop then this is really the perfect time for you all right and again somebody from the past that will be re-emerging and that will be coming your way but i feel like you're not yet ready for this person to you know you're not yet ready for this person to talk again and to get reconnected so i feel like you will try to keep your walls up and uh, try to be a little bit more aloof or away from the crowd you will also be spending a lot more time with your families and friends and i also feel like you're healthy during this time you just need to be a little bit more careful with infections and uh you know prolonged fever that is the time that you really need to go and see uh, and seek your doctor or your physician and um well when it comes to your love life it seems like there is somebody who's older than you that will be introduced to you and you're going to be going out with this person sexually you're going to be attracted to this person but romantically you can't really see your yourself being with this person in any other way all right let's take a look finally a third month of december forecast By the way, you can avail your annual personal forecast um, either through the phone or if it's uh, pre-recorded. Okay, the video chat we are already working on that. It's just that uh, we are just testing a few stuff. Plus the. Uh, no, the uh, the app that we w would like to launch soon. Um, we're still working on that as well. And the only thing that's missing and left is the uh, the membership, plus the rewards, the point system. Destiny Psychics. Um, I will be relaunching that again around. Either end of spring, but um, actually I will be traveling again after three months. So let's let's see. So my next trip should be in um, in South Korea. So let's just uh, let's just see. I hope that there won't be any delays or blockages. Oh, and uh, during this month, some Libras. Mm, you need to be a little bit more mindful of your uh, hygiene because some of you you will notice a very distinctive body odor 
<laughs> All right, and uh, you know, for singles, it's gonna be a very big turn off to your dates. All right, month of December, and you will be moving to your new house or you'll be relocating. And there is going to be a success that's going to be coming your way, which is I feel like you're going to be throwing a party during this month. And not to mention that this is also, the, you know, the month of um, holidays and the much celebrations. Now, there will be some last words that's going to be coming your way and um, held between you and this earth sign. Which is, I feel like this is going to be the final leg of the situation, okay? And right after that, you're going to be enjoying much of your holidays with your family and friends. Now, when it comes to your workplace, you'll be enjoying the new office that the management will be giving you or the new, you know, the new team or the new department or something like that. And you will be raised... Um, it's like your budget for your department or your budget for your team will be raised or will be increased during this month. And you're going to be very happy with that. Even your allowance, you know, your travel allowance as well. And aside from that, you will be recalling your entire year with much relief. And you will somehow feel like you thought that you're not going to make it because of the hurdles that's, that, you know, that you have gone through for the first quarter of this year. And... You're, you're very, you know, it's like you're going to be very proud of yourself and you will also feel relieved of all of your patience and perseverance. Now, <clears throat> when it comes to your love life, it seems like there will be some jealousies or there will be some kid fights. Well, it's like a small fight, okay? between you and your partner, especially if you're with a, with a fire sign. And then he will just decide to, you know, um, truly admit to yourself that this uh, whole era with the earth sign is really over, over. And even though there's a part of you that's still hurting and uh, um, struggling, but you will soon get over it. Okay, and you will also seize the communications. Now, sex life, it seems like your partner will also try to improve some of the things that they know you're going to be enjoying. Some male Libras will be going for an enlargement. And some female Libras will also be going for a breast augmentation or Botox. Okay, now you will be trying some new method and some new games during this month when it comes to your sex life and uh, you will be trying some acrobatic and difficult uh, difficult um positions and uh even though you know but in the morning when you wake up you will have a lot of pain in your body but you're going to be enjoying it and aside from that you will also be feeling a little bit relieved and uh, I feel like the reason why you're going to be more into it or you're going to be feeling a little bit more uh, clingy and needy to your partner is because, you know, some of, some of the female Libras will be uh, conceiving already. Now, when it comes to your health, be very careful with some chest pain and uh, kidney problems, okay? Plus, our carpal tunnel... Um, and, uh, well, arm rheumatism and some stiffening and uh, vein blockages. And um, you will also be experiencing some, um, it's not actually a heart attack, but it's more of an angina. Okay. And uh, you just need to have some healthy diet and... Um, Cut off some too much salty food because of your kidney. And um, I feel like if you've been drinking as well, it's time for you to curb it down and cut it off. And uh, it's time for you to offer a healthy leaving. Well, of course, if you're also smoking, you need to cut it off as well. And uh, take more legumes if, if it's not really, um, you know, bad for you. Or it's much better for you to go and check out with your nutritionist and specialist about your uh you know um about your diet if you have some food allergies and aside from that you will also be craving for you'll be craving for some more shell food or shell fishes all right 
let's take a look at your singles forecast Well, you will be kissing your bad memories and your, you know, um, some of your unhealthy memories goodbye and even the connections to other people. And I feel like you will be rising to the top as since that you will be learning your lesson. You will also be cutting off most of your friends that you know that isn't really being true to you or just being you know good to you just because that they uh, needed something from you all right now uh -huh. i also feel like you will just decide to stay single for a little while and not really pursue anybody since that most of the people that you have dated so far this year especially for those singles who's not been fortunate enough to find the right one for them you will you will just decide to stay single for a little while until you know late part of next year and you will be mending some of your broken hearts and you also need to forgive some of your uh, relatives or family members that you haven't been talking to for a long period of time plus I feel like it's time for you to reconnect with your mother or with a mother figure and um, I also feel like when it comes to your finances things will s start becoming even more stable and much more hmm stronger okay that even though that there are some people who try to get in your way or who try to cause you a lot of blockages and delays you just want you know karma to handle their fate and uh, move on with your life so it's gonna be a very good you know resolution for new year so anyway that's it for you for this year libra and I'm really sorry for all the delays if, uh, you know, if it took so long for me to really gather all of this and redo all of this because I also have a very busy schedule. And if you want to have your own personal forecast, you know, you may offer a pre-recorded video readings or you may call me, okay? Um, just go to my uh, website at sophieangel.net and there is already a link there where you can register for a live phone call and um, there's no special bookings or schedule for whatsoever you just need to register you know reload your credit and just queue okay and wait for me to get online all right so anyway hopefully you'll have a, um, a very good new year and um, you'll be able to go through all of your hurdles and delays in your life all right have a blessed year of 2019 and now you may watch my youtube videos inside the app of daily horoscope by cheetah mobile you know the good thing about this app is that it's not just all about horoscope okay you may also ask your burning question, especially if you can't wait for a psychic to talk to. And this is a very quick and concise, in-depth explanation that will just give you all the information that you really need to know about your love life, your money and finances, plus your health. And right after browsing all the meanings, you know, choosing all the cards, you may go and browse for more like the advanced forecast for tomorrow, weekly, monthly, and yearly. 
Now, there are also some other areas in this app that you may find very useful and informative, like their relationship articles and other, you know, um, things about the zodiac signs. And if you're also dating, go and check out your match with their featured tab and choose your sign and then the sign of the person that you're dating plus their personalities, you know, make it work, last long and you know, or it's is it just much better to cut it off? You may also check out their Chinese signs and don't forget to get their birth their birth year as well. All right, for more compatibilities. So, for more information, check out the description box below. It's available in Google Play and Apple Play Store.